So to start out with link building, you're always going to need some kind of tools to, to get the job started. Now I'm not going to sit here and sell you all of the tools that are available all over um, you know, for link building, there's tons of them, but you do need a couple of basics to get you started. Um, the first one being a Gmail. Now, I would always suggest that you use a kind of generic Gmail address because you're using Google servers, you're not going to put your own domain name into any kind of spam, uh, you know, spam checkers or anything like that. Because if you're doing outreach at scale, you're potentially going to trigger stuff like that. So people tend to use a Gmail account. Now, two other tools that you're going to need, and I'll just talk you over them in just a second. Now, these tools don't cost a huge amount of money, and I believe that you need these to be able to, you know, scale up your link building operations. So, first tool that you're going to use would be Mailshake. Now, the reason you're going to use Mailshake is to, in order to get links, you're going to have to do some form of outreach. You're going to have to reach out to people. So, this is the first tool that I can recommend you start with. It's the lowest costing tool, other than just you know generically sending from your Gmail. Um, but I'll tell you why I would recommend Mailshake in just a second. So the cost of Mailshake, as you can see, um, to do email outreach is £59 per month, or $59, sorry. Um, now, the real reason that I would highly recommend that you use something like Mailshake is your ability to set up campaigns so if you're doing it for clients or whatever it may be then you can basically set up a bunch of different campaigns here um call it whatever you like put your email address in you can drop in all your recipients here um so just you know all of the you can type the email addresses in manually or you can download a csv file um i'm just going to put in mine's just as an example finish import and it takes us to the next step now it's just it's going to take a second or two to upload oh thanks uh, so what you would do is start to compose your email and we'll go into this later on in terms of you know some of the stuff you would want to do i think the most important thing that i can highlight is when you're doing outreach is Nine times out of ten, your initial email will be ignored. Um, and it's the follow-up sequence that really does ensure that you do get a response. So you can send a follow-up saying, after five days or whatever, hey there, I didn't hear back from you, you know, and, and try a different angle. And you can continue to do a number of different follow-ups to people who don't respond after a specific amount of time. And that is a really really good feature because people out there who do outreach on a massive scale will always tell you that it's the follow-up sequence that actually seals the deal it's the persistence that will help you get those people replying to your outreach emails now that is one tool now there are other tools out there such as pitchbox which are a lot more expensive and you know have all the bells and whistles and we will have a section on pitchbox but just to begin with very basic link building, Mailshake is the one tool that you do need, in my opinion. Just for that follow-up sequence, it's going to get you better results. It's, and as I say, it's you know a case of scraping all the emails that you need to reach out to people and then putting that into a nice outreach template that has a nice follow-up sequence and you're going to get a lot better results. You can scrimp and scrape and simply go to Gmail and just do it all manually, but then you're manually going to have to do the follow-up sequence and you're not going to get the same results. Second tool that I would highly recommend would be Ahrefs. And the reason that I mention Ahrefs is purely because most people that I know in the industry use DR as a score and for many years Ahrefs has always been known as, as the kind of link building backlink analysis tool and I still use it to this day there's a whole bunch of other great tools in the SEO industry as well which can do a similar job but Ahrefs is the tool of choice for me and you can have a look at um, I've just put amazon.co.uk in gives you the DR the UR 
Now, these are metrics that are third party metrics. They don't make a blind bit of difference to Google as such. However, it does give you an indicator that a DR93 is a very powerful website, which Amazon is. The other factors here uh, that it allows you to see is the amount of organic keywords they rank for, the amount of traffic they get. And I think the combination of traffic, organic keywords, and a decent DR would indicate a good potential link. Now, I'm going to go into different strategies further on, um, such as broken link building, which we can see here. You know, there's a broken links tab um, on Ahrefs where you can identify broken link building opportunities. And we can use the different stuff here, you know, whether it's finding a broken link building opportunity, whether it's just looking at your competition to see what backlinks they've got. We can use this tool to analyze anyone's backlink profile, and that is essential if you want to be able to do a good link building campaign, you've got to have the right tools. So Mailshake and Ahrefs are the two go-to tools that I would highly recommend that anyone gets just to start out with your link building campaign. I may drop in other tools further down the line as you get more advanced and stuff like that. But these two are a must have. Uh, you can also use tools like SEMrush to look at the backlink analysis and stuff like that. They do a great job as well. So if you've already got a SEMrush subscription, I'm not suggesting you go out and get Ahrefs. But this, you know, for a beginner, starting out, these would be the two tools that I would highly recommend you get for link building.